What up, you dingus? This is definitely not good. The podcast where we create stories, and they're definitely probably not going to be good. Sorry about that. I'm your host, CJ. I am joined by my producer, Nuckety. <laughs> and we got a very special guest today, Supreme Andrine. Yeah. I don't know what this is, but guys, it's definitely not good. <laughs> Dance to it. Supreme Andrine, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you, CJ. How's your day been? You know what? I don't like talking about my day. Is that like a personal thing, your day? Yeah, okay. because it's usually going to be a complaint, you know, so oh. let's not even talk about it. You know, I understand that. So, I hate my job. <laughs> usually something, there's always something to complain about. What's like the last good thing that happened to you, though? The last good thing that happened to me today? Today? Mm-hmm. Just in general, that you can remember. Oh, in general. Oh, man. Well, that's a lot. Like, that's just too many to even really list and think about. But, um, yeah, I made someone smile today. That's that's a good thing. <sighs> spreading the love. Yeah. Spreading the smiles. That's good Spread. right there. I'm already smiling. You're, you're making me smile right now. Yeah, that's what I like that's to fantastic. do. That's fantastic. Yeah. Smiling, smiling so hard. Look at me. Oh, my gosh. Look at me smiling. Okay, stop smiling. That's a little Sorry. creepy. I'm so sorry. A little <laughs> too much, man. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, well, uh, you know, I uh, came up with a new warm up, kind of dumb, kind of bad, but I'm just going to do it. Um, you ever seen like those TikToks of like inspirational stuff and like things you have to do, like top five things? Oh, yeah. I want to hear your top three methods of success. What are the top three things you got to do? And just take it away. This is your your podcast for a little bit. What are, your, what are the top just to do that? And we'll, you know. We'll, we'll have the sound guy put some inspirational music. Ooh, yeah. I like <laughs> now I have to make inspirational music? Hey, I mean, someone has to. It or has you, to be trap music for me. <laughs> like, so none of that. Music? Yeah. Okay, trap music. Trap music. All right. Okay, so I know this might seem kind of simple, but you got to see it, mm. right? You got to have a vision of you doing it or making those steps to achieve. Okay. And you got to have perseverance. That's a big word. I don't you got to have perseverance, determination. Okay. And then you gotta just like just don't worry about the naysayers. Mm. Fuck the haters. That's good. Now can, can I have say that? top three uh, ways to fail? How can what are the top ways we can fail? Oh, the top uh, is just don't act upon anything. Just put your head in the sand. You know, mm. uh, don't work towards your goal. Just think, oh, it'll happen to me one day. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then self hate if you talk badly and negatively it mostly will be negative you know mm-hmm. um and then uh yeah don't abuse like drugs and alcohol because that won't be too good either oh man that's gonna be a hard one for a lot of people know, it might but, be kind of hard yeah maybe yeah hey can i get can i get some snaps on the mic can everyone just snap for me thank you i can oh. only snap with this one that's great yeah. me too that's great Thank you guys. Wow. Yeah. That was, was, that, that was that good? That was great. That was right, yeah. cool. Cool. Oh my gosh. Wonderful. You're doing great. Once the sound guy just spends like eight hours making that track over that, that's going to be really, <laughs> it's just really going to bring it home too. Well, hey, if this is your first time listening to the podcast, this is basically how everything works. We are all amazing storytellers. Amazing. And we're going to tell a story completely from scratch. The only catch is we're going to spin some wheels to help us determine character genre or character flaw. Uh, antagonist, yada, yada, yada. A lot of, a lot of random stuff's gonna be hidden, but we're gonna do our best. Our best. This is the best, the, you know, like the extra most bestest. Yeah. A lot of pepperoni on it. You know? Yeah. A lot of pepperoni, a lot of mushrooms. And if you have a suggestion for a wheel, go ahead and send us an email at definitely not good podcast at gmail.com or don't. Because I'm having fun coming up with them myself. <laughs> We're having a good time. We're having a pretty good time. It's okay. I'll be yeah. There. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, also, we got a Halloween episode coming up. So, oh, yeah. Get ready for that. Get ready for that. Um, Scary. Yeah. Spooky. Yikes. So, um, I guess we should just kind of get started with our sponsor, shouldn't we? Like to figure out who's who's sponsoring us today. Yeah. Um, should we spin that wheel? Yeah. Let's we spin, spin it. it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Say the damn well. <laughs> you always got something to say when he's spinning. 
Uh, today's episode is brought to you by A Pack of Wild Dogs. This episode is sponsored by A Pack of Wild Dogs. And you know, I, I noticed your reaction there when I, when he said Pack of Wild Dogs. Do you have like a specific story uh, that you kind of dealt with these guys before? I don't have a story, mm -hmm. but I can see it. You can see them. You can see the Pack of Wild Dogs? I can see the Pack of like homeless dogs because they, they all like group together and stuff like that. So totally. I can see them like seeing you as like prey. Yeah. yeah. But they also like the podcast, so they're sponsoring us today. Do you can you can you give us like uh maybe a couple encouraging words, like things that you like about this wild pack of dogs? Okay, well I do like the wild pack of dogs because um if you if you single them out, they might love you. Mm. Um if you take them home and nurture them and feed them. That's a lot of dogs. I said single them out and just take one or two. Oh, one or two? Uh-huh. Sorry, that the are you more of a cat person? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, dogs over here on mine. It's, it's dogs over here. But I mean, because the vision I have for like pack of dogs is not really like a good thing. But mm. something good, if they, if you um, don't listen, they're going to come after you. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And Nuckety, I know you have a personal experience with pack of wild dogs. Uh, yes, I used to run with a pack of wild dogs. Oh, wow. Uh, On all fours? Yeah. Um, we would uh, steal people's newspapers. And uh, this guy, one time we ran into another pack of wild dogs and... It was over for them on site, so <laughs> you didn't just assimilate to become a bigger no, 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 pack no, of wild no, dogs. No, 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 no. We were very territorial, so oh, wow. uh, they were in our turf, and we didn't want that. Uh, we didn't want them taking our meat, mm. so we uh, jumped on them, and I bit a couple of dogs. Uh, Ooh. I'm still coughing up some fur nice. right now, but <clears throat> if you hear me coughing today, it's because I still have fur in my throat <laughs> from the attacks on the <laughs> other pack of wild dogs. That they, those were bad dogs. Bad dogs. See? Good bad dogs. dogs. They we all seem dogs. bad. But okay, we, you're the good dogs, and we they were, were the bad. Dog. Dog. They, we were good dogs. They were bad dogs. So we had to we had to take them out. I like to think the ones sponsoring us they are good dogs. They're good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good boy. Good boy. Good girl. Good girl. Ooh, girls in there too. Yeah, there's some girls. Oh, girl dogs. Dogs in there. Yeah, yeah. I like that. They were the meanest ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they usually are. Yeah. Hey, wow. thank you, wild pack of dogs. Thank you, wild pack of dogs. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I guess we should just get started with this thing, huh? Let's, let's maybe spin some wheels, see what we're, uh, cooking up today. You gonna spin another wheel? Let's, let's do, do it. What's our genre? What's our genre? Do it! Yeah. Pirates. Ooh, what? I like that. I like that. I oh, like that a lot. That's yeah. That's so crazy because I just cool. watched One Piece, the, the live act. Do you know about that? Uh -uh. Okay, well, this is the nerd crew over here. So <laughs> that's it's pretty much magical pirates. And I was actually thinking maybe we should have a magical pirates genre, but we got pirates. We got pirates. So maybe, okay, we'll see. Maybe it'll be normal pirates or magic. We'll, we'll see. We'll I see. I like it. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's spin the next wheel. It's our character, right? No, time period. Oh, I'm yeah. wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the future. The future. Man. Pirates in the future. I feel like we get future a lot or some kind of variation of it, but that's all right. It's just the future? Yeah, it's just the future. Just the future. Okay, okay. that's pretty vast. Very. Very vast. Mm -hmm. Pirates in the future. A vasty matey. Okay. Uh, you know, I always thought it'd be cool to have like space pirates. Space pirates? You, you know? know? You ever seen Treasure Planet? Yes. Gangster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gangsta. Treasure Planet is cool. We need that. We need that live action. That's the only. I don't like live action remakes of movies, but that one I could do. Mm -hmm. I could do that. The visual I have for Space Pirates is just like they're on a spaceship in space, right? And they and they dress like some pretty like pretty high tech stuff, right? Like sci fi or like Star Trek or whatever. But they're pirates. They're like they're they're scum of the earth of <laughs> or the galaxy. I don't know. We can go that route, but we'll see. Maybe they're just on water in the future. Is there water in the future? Oh, I think we're running out of a drinkable water, but they don't, they'd be on the sea. So like, it's going to be different pirates. I think different pirates, different kind of pirates. Let's spin that next wheel. Let's spin the next wheel. That character job wheel. Character we job. So spin it, spin it, spin it. Pirate. <laughs> no, no way. I swear no way. to God. It just says pirates. <laughs> Why was both of these on? This wheel is rigged, <laughs> damn it. Whoa. No way. Uh, are we going to run with that? I think we have, we have to. We have to. Those are the rules. So you said they're scum of the earth, so. <laughs> the galaxy. Is a pirate. Wow. 
Guys, um, <laughs> I, I have nothing to say. Please, go, inc- please go to the next incredible wheel. Incredible. I hope heard. I didn't put pirate anywhere else. <laughs> His flaw is he's a pirate. <laughs> His flaw is that he likes to steal. There you <laughs> go. There you go. All right, we're spinning the flaw wheel. All we- right, <laughs> spin it. Too impulsive. Ooh. I mean, okay, that works. So pirate. Pirate. He's a pirate. That works. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we're really doing pirates today. <laughs> I guess <laughs> really? the wheel gods want us to do pirates real bad. Wowzers. Okay, and our last, second to last one is the antagonist. Right? Antagonida. Let's do it. The antagonida. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Uh-oh. Uh, the, an- <coughs> the antagonist is you. Oh, shit. What does that mean? I don't know. What did you do to us? I don't know, man. So I put, I couldn't come up with any more wheel suggestions. <laughs> so I put you in all caps. Do you have any interpretation of that? The, the Netflix show, The Killer. The guy from you? Yeah. I haven't seen that. Is he like a, he's a his stalker, right? He's a stalker and then he kills him. So the pirate has a stalker? Uh, we could go that route. I mean, that's why, that's what went to, cause I'm not an antagonist. So I don't know. It ain't yeah, me. And it's not me. It ain't Maybe, me. So is it you? Oh no, it's you. No, well, no. It's, <laughs> yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's you. No, it's gotta be you. Yeah, it's you. I mean, we could also look at it as like the antagonist are the listeners. Whoever is listening to this, you're the antagonist. It's you. Oh, we're going meta? Ooh. I don't know how we would like that. make that word. I don't either. <laughs> because this person listening to this is not going to talk, right? You have anything to say? Man, nothing. Oh, I'm not here. Every nothing. time. What good are you? God damn it. Yeah. Thanks for listening though. But we appreciate you. Okay, so to recap, we have, God damn it. <laughs> we got pirates. The character's job is a pirate. He's a pirate that is a pirate. Um, this is in the future. Mm-hmm. A pirate that is a pirate in the future. He, he or she is impulsive. And uh, the antagonist is you. This is going to be great. Who, who, <laughs> let's, we we got to figure out who is you. Is, that, is yeah. it the audience? Or what is, who is you? Oh, man. I feel, okay. We could do it like you as like the general public, like you. Oh, you know, like I, I could play the antagonist. You could play the antagonist. Yeah, yeah. I like to like challenge and rebut re- or refute. Okay, so I can I can do that. Okay, you know a lot of big words. Yeah, I like uh, that. I'm, I like I'm, that. I'm, I'm big out here on the big so, streets. So if you're playing you, what what do you what does that mean? Uh, that means like I'm always gonna go against the the grain, I guess, or like challenge the pirates. Okay, from. Doing pirate things. Okay. Maybe. Or like come down on them if they do something stupid or wrong. Stupid. Or, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like so stupid. Yeah. Are you like, if, are you representing everyone? What do you mean by that? Well, so you is just kind of all encompassing to like whoever you is. So maybe you just represent everyone. I can do that. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. What's everyone saying right now? Get on with the show. All right. Let's do it. She's right. God damn, this is gonna okay. Um opening shot. Okay, we're on the water <laughs> in a pirate what if, ship. What if in the future <laughs> Yeah, please, in please. In the future there's no land left. Like water world? Yeah. It's so, just water. So what's their ship? Their ship is made of debris that they collected before the flood. Are they sailing on debris? The, the ground? Or the air? No, no. The whole world is just water. Oh, the whole world is okay. This is water world. Oh, yeah, got, much. It, got it, got okay, it, got okay. it. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. All right. No land. Main character's name is is Carl. Fucking Carl. Carl the pirate. And, he's, he's, and we're getting that beautiful opening shot, just sweeping of like showing this this lavish uh, pirate ship, and Carl's just going up to the sails, and he's looking at the very top of it, and he says, "Land ho!" Um, he sees like. Um, you know, it's not really land. It's just a small patch of island, you know, because that's that's really the treasure in these in these Ooh, yeah. dark, dark times. They're in just the future. looking for a place to stop. Yeah. 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 And by the way, all the ice caps melted. That's that's all what them. happened. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. we really we really screwed. We really screwed the pooch on the whole global warming thing. Right. So this is what we got, you know. Um, so Carl just, you know, he had that least- re- Release they release dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, dinosaurs. Diseases oh my that we God. haven't seen in thousands of years. Dinosaurs are swimming around and like 
Um, so Carl jumps down, you know, very, very Aladdin like from Disney's Aladdin. He just kind of grabs the rope and he just jumps off. And just very, he's really good with ropes. God damn, he's a really good pirate. He fucking loves ropes. Carl's like, God, I love the sea. Yar. And uh, he, he goes down to, um, you know, his the rest of his crew. The rest of his crew are just normal people, man. Like, they're, they're pirates, but like, really, they, they, they're just. Trying to survive. There's just there's Somali pirates. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I'm talking like people are like in like normal clothes. You know, like it, we got this real establishing shot that they were. This is a pirate world, but this he's the only pirate on this pirate <laughs> ship. <laughs> he's also the captain. <laughs> um, Carl, of course, wears an eye patch. Um, <laughs> he doesn't need it, but he wears it. He really wants a beard, but he does not have one. He just gets really scruffy, kind of like what patchy. I, very patchy. Yeah, <laughs> he got hair like mine. It just. <laughs> <laughs> Only grows in certain spots. He's just, but he's it's just, really long. He's, he loves that chin hair, though. Yeah. Can't yeah, stop touching it. Yeah. His name is Carl Patches. Carl Captain Patches. Patches. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, Carl, uh, <clears throat> this is his uh, second in command, Dave. Jerry. Dave? Jerry. <laughs> I like Jerry. Uh, Jerry. Hey, hey, Carl, you saw some land. Yar, there be, there be land there yonder. <sighs> Okay, did you see any like resources? <laughs> or anything? Fucking over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wait a> minute. <laughs> resources for the plunder. Just ask. Just ask uh, uh, my uh, navigator, uh, Sarah. 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 Yeah. Who should play uh, Sarah? I wonder. Yeah. Like, okay, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Sarah is also. Let's over go see it. what we can find. Yeah. Is she on like? Uh, what is she doing? She's on her like. Um, She's like looking at her nails and like uh, kind of over it too. Like, okay, yeah. there's it's a little patch, so let's <laughs> let's just get there. Yeah, it's a commodity. <laughs> Carl Carl rushes to the to the to the brig, you know, where everyone is just kind of you know just doing their own thing. They're on their phones or they're on their laptops. Yeah. Um, and Carl says, "Mateys, me crew." They're like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> We have been sailing for weeks upon weeks, and we have finally found land. If all you are ready to plunder this world and see what treasures behold this new land, say hi! Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, close enough. <laughs> Sarah! Uh, six, what would a pirate say? Six, six uh, rotations to uh, <laughs> that road. Bring our ship to that spot! <laughs> Turn, was, turning the wheel, really turning the wheel. Okay. Um, you know, and we're just we're just Here sailing. We we're sailing. You know, we're sailing. Yeah. And um, so we we get to this this island, and um, you know, it's pretty like it's kind of hard to tell how big it is because it, there's a forest there. Um, but it is like kind of you know think of like um, what's it called? Tom Hanks. Castaway, castaway. Like castaway, where you just kind of don't know what's on the island, but it's pretty empty. Mm -hmm. um, Mysterious. Yeah. Forestry is good, though. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. resources, yeah, it right? Could be, could be. So there's some stuff on this island. So we yeah. uh, we get they get this ship onto shore, and of course, Carl Patches is there. Captain Patches claims this land. This is now Patches. Everyone's like, yay. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray for Carl. Uh, uh, where's Stacey, my? You want to go to dinner? <laughs> <laughs> He's always taking our credit. <laughs> Gosh, Jerry, <clears throat> Jerry, did you, did you record that? <laughs> I'm always recording. I'm, I'm gonna do it again just in case he gets back on, on top of the ship. His his influence. He really cares about his his influence. likes. Yeah, his likes and stuff. Oh shit! Are they are they posting these? Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is social media. <laughs> he jumps on land again. Oh, hi! <laughs> this is now Captain Patch's land. It, you belong to me and my crew. He's like, get another angle. <laughs> so we got something to cut to. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm holding this position. Move, move to a different angle. Okay, quickly, <laughs> quickly, Jerry. Ah! <laughs> All right, cut. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, we're here, but we found some land. You know, there's probably some boars or or food or coconuts here. You know, don't say I never did Ow. anything for you. Damn, what's up? With all these bugs around here, like, ugh. oh, Gosh. like, a, oh, yeah, Can, there is a lot of bugs like, here. Yeah, let's. What is with let's all the keep bugs? going? Let's keep going. Oh, oh, uh, do I we forgot, have like a fly I swatter? My bug spray. <laughs> yeah, we need bug I spray. Guy. Ugh. Um, <clears throat> does anyone know how to build a fire? 
No. <laughs> no, we got to move further up away from the water so we can build a fire and stay dry. Yar, um, maybe we could uh, get our ye old technology in a microwave and uh, get an extension cord to, <laughs> to get in all these labs. Just plug it in and put it face down. <laughs> Jerry, what can you muster up? Uh, I got this potato. I learned how to make a light bulb glow. I, I don't know. <laughs> Will that help? I don't know. Um, suddenly a boar comes from the the forest. And this is a... Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Thank you. And this boar is half boar, half robot. A robot. Ooh, how are we going to eat it? <laughs> I want to eat. Never you mind, Sarah. We're going... It's, it's half boar, half robot. So it's a... Robor, as Robor. Jerry, Jerry put okay. it. Okay, yes. oh boy, I got a Robor. It won't be as much meat, but it, there's something there. There's something there. There's a little bit. Yeah. All, right. All of a sudden, this Robor is is charging towards Sarah. Sarah, look out! Oh, let me move out the way. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna ride on top of it. I'm having fun. That's it's she a Robor. Jumps on it. <laughs> Riding on the boar's back. This boar is big <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> It's like the size of a horse. Carl, I need some bun. Carl takes out his uh, his, his his pistol and he shoots the boar. In the head. <laughs> but it's gonna come back alive in like five seconds. Oh yeah, it's a robot. Oh yeah, yeah, and it starts like breathing fire. You gotta hit it in the right spot. This is a robot. Yeah, yeah. You gotta hit it in its flux capacitor. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, shit, 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 Jerry. Do you have another gun? Nah, I'm out of, I'm out of guns. Oh wait, wait, wait. I got a, I got a flare gun. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that flare gun, damn it! He grabs the flare gun and he jumps on top of the boar, uh, very recklessly, and he, and he shoots the flare multiple times through its like eye, <laughs> right into its, coincidentally by it, <laughs> coincidentally hitting hit the flux capacitor. Oh, he got it. And it got goes, it. and the boar goes. <laughs> And Jerry's like, I was saving that, but okay. <laughs> we, are, we don't need no flare gun, only for destroying. <laughs> now, uh, uh, who's a cook here among ye? Ooh, uh, we just call him Cookie. Cookie. Hey. Uh, what can you do with a robot? And Cookie's like, uh, yeah, I can like look at a YouTube tutorial or something to see what they say, <laughs> but I don't, I don't really. It's gonna take a while, dude. Like, it's not. It's, this isn't McDonald's. Like, it's, I'm, I'm gonna have to cut the the boar. Uh, I'm gonna. It's gonna take a while. Skin it, All right, do it. what you can. Cause we're starving, yar. <laughs> do what you gotta do. So, what part are we gonna be able to eat? It's mostly face, right? It's mostly That's face. That's what I figured. Mostly yeah, face meat. Yeah. Some mm-hmm. snout. Boar some cheeks. ear. Boar cheeks. It's what you think it is. So yes. Pig feet. Boar feet. It's got it's got robot legs, but real feet. Just. <laughs> Into the forest, everyone! And Je- and uh, Cookie's like, wait, you're you're going into the forest? Of course, we're adventurers, we're pirates. Onward, we, we must blunder. He, and he charges into the forest alone. Everyone else is just kind of like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> um, how's Sarah feeling at this point? Sarah is like, kind of like over the water so sarah's kind of like ready to go explore a little bit herself mm. just not with y'all yeah she's tired of y'all yep yep but, she's looking you at know, her phone like i got bars <laughs> sarah she feels like she should be captain you know mm. what i'm saying like she feels like our captain is useless totally totally yeah. so does does sarah care about the bars that she has on her phone like what is what is she what is she trying to do just survive you know what sarah is like She's like a silent, like a weapon or a silent threat. So she has these bars and she's going to use them just to overshadow the captain soon. Oh, like when he's like doing his content and all that, she's going to step in and be like, oh, snap. Let me show y'all. I'm the captain now. Gotcha. Okay. 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 So I want to throw in a little twist here since we're doing some weird ass shit with this one. (laughs) Sarah's going to go off and wander on her own because uh, she's not feeling Captain Patches. Oh, we got a B story going on. Yeah, huh? no one's really feeling Captain Patches, if we're being honest. He's just out there yelling. He's he's a <laughs> dumb ass. Dumb ass. This is going great. <laughs> <laughs> I think I see a coconut. I'm going to climb this tree. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying again. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. 
he just he just does that for a while. <laughs> he's like he's like help! My, my pig leg is stuck in the tree. I I can't. Somebody get me down. Just stuck in this tree. <laughs> he's hanging on it. <laughs> um. So Sarah's wandering around. She's she's looking through this forest, but she's she has some survival instincts where she's like noticing that there's paths within the forest. So she's following this path, like kind of a, a beaten path, and she's noticing a clearing in the forest. Um, in this clearing is spin that topic wheel. Topic wheel. Ooh. Let's do it. Because <laughs> I had an idea, but I want to see what the universe has for us as far as what should be in this clearing. Let's <laughs> <Spin it. laughs> He sounds like the boar, doesn't he? He does. He he does a good boar. (laughs) AI? Holy shit. That's perfect. Wow. So you see like a like a old ass like computer, like a desktop computer in this clearing. It's one of those 90s computers where it's like very big and bulky. And um you you go over to it and you're very it's weird because it's like this is a desk. It's a it's a chair. It's a keyboard and a monitor. You know, just out, <laughs> just out in the in the forest. There's like some covering for like weather, but it's like you know. So you go over to it, <laughs> like a, like a desk in a hotel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. And uh, what does Sarah do? Oh, Sarah's like, what the fuck is this? Because we're in the future, so Sarah doesn't know. But all of a sudden, like I get close to it, and it just starts talking and speaking. Mm, yeah, you know, and it's like gonna be the guide on the island mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah hello i am you i'm the most advanced ai in the world i see what you did there <laughs> how can i help you today well you know so i'm with these group of guys and they're just like getting on my nerves and i want to show them that i'm the hbic around here and can you like point me in some like good direction to where there, like, there's like treasure you know like some good resources that i can find before this dumbass captain like can take my shine yeah yeah um, that's so it's, it's processing so it's, please hold as we're processing because like that a was loading, a lot a loading yeah. bar and then uh, after it, it processes that for a while it says please follow them i'm gonna get me off this island i don't want to be here there's no treasure here there's nothing there's nothing oh, yeah there's just a pack of wild dogs running around totally wasting my time i have all the intellect in the world i've just been left here please help me well goddamn <laughs> <laughs> There's a there's a floppy disk if you a floppy disk. <laughs> Maybe we can help each other. There's a way that I can integrate with your biochemistry and I can become you and you can become me and then you can have whatever you want. You can be the leader of of this group of pirates or whatever. I just don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> this is AI talking. Yeah. Oh wow. It's very desperate. It downloaded the the desperation voice. Uh, module, so it's just very dense. Please, please. <laughs> so we just take the floppy disk because that's pretty much that's controlling the AI. Yeah, like yeah. that's all the information. Yeah, and uh, this is all of me. This is all of me, and and all you know, you just you just insert the floppy disk wherever you can. Like where? Because there's going to be no other place for the floppy disk into the into the ship's central. I found an old CD player. Will it? Will the floppy disk go in there? No, no, no. You have no? to insert. Me into you. Oh. Yeah. And then I become you and then you become me. Oh. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So how does how does Sarah do this? Because I'm not sure. Wow, that's a good one. Um, Where's a floppy disk go? Is, is Sarah a cyborg? <laughs> Sarah has to like find an old like incision from where she had surgery and, you know, cut it a little superficially, you know, and just stick it in there as far as it can go. And then she's like all beamed up. Wow, this is, this yeah, is not the she's Halloween like episode. all beamed up, you know. <laughs> so she she integrates with this a, this most advanced AI in the world, and now Sarah that comes on a floppy drive. Yeah, and now Sarah is officially you, which was what what was the, the name of the AI? Yeah, um, we're gonna so, call her HBIC. Oh, HBIC. What does that stand for? Head bitch in charge. I love it. That's good. That's probably gonna be the name of this episode, honestly. <laughs> HBIC Pirates. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's take a short, a, a very short break, and we'll get right back to this terrible, terrible podcast. <laughs> Stay tuned. Cut, 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 cut. We're back, and we got a sponsor. Let's spin that wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me we're sponsored by Pirates. I'll, I'll flip this table over. <laughs> 
So, you guys, um, seriously, when they say send in ideas, send in some ideas, okay? <laughs> Thank you. I, I get it now. Thank you. I'm going to give you a whole list. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> yep. Today's episode is brought to you by Exercise. Oh, this episode is sponsored by Exercise. You Ooh. know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson wakes up every day at 4 a.m. and exercises. Why aren't you doing that? Yeah, why, why aren't, aren't you doing that? Why aren't you working What's out wrong with every you? day? What are you, stupid? Exercise is so good for you. Uh, I should know because I don't, and I'm slowly dying. <laughs> <laughs> it is killing me. It is killing me. And I'm so grateful that they're sponsoring us because it's a good reminder. CJ, get your ass off the couch and jog a little bit. Don't eat that sandwich. Don't eat that sandwich. <laughs> exercise. Don't touch. <laughs> How do you guys feel about exercise? I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, man. But it is necessary. I try it? to implement it like, okay, I'll put the treadmill in front of the TV or I'll, you know, do something like that so I can multitask. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. No? Mm-mm. I tried, but no. Has it, Is it possible to listen to a podcast like this and exercise? Because I feel like no. It's tough, but I, I use my... Uh, Your speaker? Yeah, I use a speaker. And then you, and then you get some work done? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because I, I don't go to no gym. Because if I got to go to a gym, it's not going to happen. You right. Know? So I just, I just got some equipment I put in my room and I put my little speaker on and I play podcasts and whatever. And I just I just do my little thing, you know. You know, there's also exercising your brain. You guys do Ooh, something yeah. for exercising your brain? Yeah, I play yeah. video games. Video games? That definitely helps. I do stretches. So mm. that helps a stretches little bit. Stretches are good. Yeah, I like to stretch every day. That's exercise. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Gets the blood flow, <laughs> you know. I stretch on the couch when I've slept for a long time. Yay. Those are good stretches. I like those stretches. Yeah. yeah. I stretched this morning on the couch <laughs> and it was, I didn't want to get up. Why so do I stretch out? Why am I even, why am I even, why did I even move today? But hey, thank you, exercise. You're thank great. You exercise. Oh man, you're so motivating. Yeah. Oh, great. I, like it a lot. I so- mean, one thing I do every now and then is I have like one of those yoga balls at work, and like before lunch, I'll do some crunches on the yoga ball. Oh, that's and nice. Some balancing, you know. Yeah. That's a good exercise, actually. Yeah, that's a nice low impact, but it's still, you know. Yeah. But cardio, nah. No, nah, cardio, man. Cardio is the devil. I feel like cardio is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> When I'm dead. Thank you for sponsoring us today, Exercise. Thank you, Exercise. Let's move right along to our recap. Captain Patches, Carl Patches, and his crew of people who don't want to be there have found an island in this future, very bleak. Not a lot of humans, not a lot of people. But they found an island in the middle of the ocean where they're scourging for resources and plunders. Captain Patches is an idiot, went off on his own to um, find a coconut or something. Meanwhile, Sarah, uh, the navigator, has uh, went off on her own and found a mysterious computer containing an AI called You. Um, she has integrated with this AI and is now You, one of, like probably the most advanced AI slash person to ever exist. And um, yeah, how's how are you feeling right now? I feel like I'm just that bad bitch. Mm, mm. Like I'm ready to just. I mean, I do care about the guys, but I don't need them no more. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. she got a hand. I know the way. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I'm going to help my people out. Yeah. So Sarah's like glowing right now from just inserting this. She got the glow. Yeah. She. she this is the glow up, literally. Mm-hmm. And uh, Jerry, you know, was kind of wandering around, but he happened to find Sarah also. And Sarah's back is turned, but she, he's seeing this glow. Um, Jerry, how are you responding to seeing this? Oh, look at that. <laughs> What's going on there? Huh? You see me. You see it. You see the glow. The glow is real. Don't touch. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to touch you. Don't touch me. And uh, Captain Patches makes his way back. He is torn to sunders, man. He is just, he's, he's in patches, literally. <laughs> Covered in coconut crap. <laughs> Sunburned. Like, oh, there goes my crew. How you doing? Oh, oh God. This island sucks. This island sucks. <laughs> this island sucks. <laughs> There's what nothing here. Island. This island's <laughs> nothing here. Yar. Sarah, what happened to you? Yeah. Well, I actually found something really remarkable. I became that. That became me. And that's what it is right now. You see it. Uh, Jerry, can you can you translate for me? What is she saying? <laughs> she got the glow. Um, I don't know. <laughs> is it, why is there a desktop computer here? What, what, <laughs> what happened? I need I need I need details. No, look at that. So I decided to 
you know, look for other things that we could probably use as resources to help the crew that you left behind, you know? Yar, yar. But, and then yar. I come upon this big ass, bulky, like, IBM looking like type thing and it just started talking and it asked me some questions and I told it what we needed and then I just like somehow like downloaded all that information within myself. She shoved it in her heart. Wait, sir. Hmm. You like thanks for a moment. I got the key. I got the key. He's scratching his scruffy. Jerry's like, no you're, you're bleeding a lot. Did you know that? <laughs> oh, you can see this? Don't worry about that because this is the source right here. So, uh, if I understand correctly, Sarah, uh, you you took the plunder, you took the treasure from this island, and you inserted it into yourself. Yeah, we're gonna call it the treasure. So, the so treasure. mutiny, right, Jerry? Is, is this a mutiny? Is that what that is? Oh, oh yeah, we can mutiny. It's uh, it is what it is. I never thought of that. Uh, Captain Patches breaks characters, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm supposed to be the captain. Wait a minute. God damn it. (laughs) Jerry, stop recording. Stop recording. I'm always recording. (laughs) Shit. Fuck. He like takes his hat off in his eye patch. He has two eyes. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do with this, guys? But uh, who says you weren't the captain? You can still believe you're the captain. Okay, but then I have to like kill you guys or something, right? No, it's not gonna happen. I mean, we we could just fuck you up. I mean, yeah. Guys, we were supposed to be a team, okay? You now left you wanna, us behind. Now you want to mutiny? What? And like, now you're like an AI or something? Is that what's going on? That's exactly what is going on. <laughs> okay, uh, Sarah. Uh, oh, what are you the directions? call me HBIC now. What is? What does that stand for? Even it stands for head bitch in charge. And, and Jerry just goes, ooh. <laughs> World store. Didn't start this. Future didn't world start. store. Why didn't I think of that? Damn it! God, that's <laughs> so cool. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. If you can beat me in a duel, then you can be the captain. I guess H B I C. Of course, you're going to pick the duel challenge, right? Oh, absolutely. Sounds kind of biased. Absolutely. Um, Yeah, uh, I guess we'll meet in front of the ship, and it's a duel to the death. Sound good? Sounds great. Shake on it? Shake on it. And then he goes in for a shake, and then he, like, slicks his hair back real quick. He's like, (laughs) too slow. (laughs) I see you. Okay. That's what you want. This island's only big enough for one of... Actually, I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, this island's all big enough only for one of us. He said, guess who's back? <laughs> <laughs> island's not big enough for the... You know what I mean. I'll s- <laughs> Good- goodbye, you. He wanders off. He stomps off. So they take... <laughs> they all... They, like, separate camps, and they go take the night to train mm-hmm. for the duel. Yeah. It's about yeah. to happen, which we did not establish, and they, they don't know what the duel is going to be. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. they're just doing like random exercises. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> um, some of the some of the stragglers uh, heard about what happened, and a couple of crew members have joined your guys' ranks. Um, you got a uh, freaking napkin. Hi, napkin. <laughs> um, you know, napkins real good at stuff. Um, you got stairs. Stairs is like. All masculine and strong because yeah. he can go up lots of stairs. He can only build stairs. That's the only thing that's that he can do. Thing. He just builds stairs. <laughs> Try and fucking stop him. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, stairs. Stop building stairs. I'm building these fucking stairs. <laughs> and something, uh, he had a tragic backstory. Something yeah, about stairs. He something just, real happened. I have to build stairs his, so my father will fuck me. Yeah. His, his mom and his dad got pushed downstairs and died. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to make these fucking stairs. Make these goddamn stairs. He's like real mad about it. <laughs> He's so buff. He's so buff, buff dude. Fuck for making these fucking stairs. <laughs> so uh, stairs and napkin. Um. <laughs> what the fuck? Does, hold on. What does napkin do? What napkin is, carries napkins. Because <laughs> that's all he can carry. Napkins is like <laughs> is super a lightweight. <laughs> a backpack full of napkins. Does anybody need a napkin? Does anybody need a napkin? <laughs> I have napkins for everybody. If you need a napkin, I got him. Um, <laughs> Nobody ever needs a napkin. <laughs> He's had the same backpack full of napkins for like three years. Just try to get people <laughs> napkins. <laughs> Please take my napkin. Here, take a napkin. <laughs> you got something on your face. <laughs> you can just get that real quick. 
<laughs> you want a napkin? <laughs> All right. So these two stairs and napkin approach HBIC and they, and they they are pledging their allegiance. I pledge allegiance to HBIC. If you need your napkin, I'm here. <laughs> Co 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 co. Stairs co. says, "Hell yeah, let's 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 build them stairs on them fools. <laughs> I'm gonna build all these fucking stairs. <laughs> Nothing but a step stool, motherfuckers." <laughs> <laughs> HBIC, what you trying to do? We gotta find out what the challenge is gonna be. You think it's napkin related? Maybe it's napkin related. Oh, he gonna need a lot of them napkins when the challenge is over for sure. Meanwhile. Uh, we see Captain Patches at the top of his uh, a ship, and he has a telescope telescope app on his phone <laughs> that he's zoomed in on. With zoomed. His, with, yeah, and he's seeing y'all talk. And he's saying, like, what are they talking about? And uh, Cook, what's his name? Cookie? No, his name is Cookie. 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 Cookie says, hey, Captain, I got the uh, robot ready. God damn, it took you long. God, it took it so long to make that. Cookie, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I had coconut. I'm not even hungry anymore. <laughs> Coconut cream. I had coconut skin. <laughs> Why don't you get my peg leg out of that tree over there? <laughs> Anybody want coconut smoothies? <laughs> Everyone just looks up at him with disdain. And they're like, <sighs> and the cookie says, all right, fine. I'll just eat it myself. Uh, whatever. What's the duel going to be? And he says, uh, d- duel. Oh, oh, um, God damn it. Oh. He goes to his phone and says, Siri, create me a duel. <laughs> Siri says, sorry, I didn't quite get that. I always hate Siri. Alexa! <laughs> <laughs> no. um, Alexa is someone on his crew. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> I need an idea for a duel. What do you got for me? A duel. Okay. Um, let's think. How about pistols at dawn? Oh, that's so generic, Alexa. Come on. You could do better than that. Okay. 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 How about pistols at 3 p.m.? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Wow. Alexa, you're going places. You got some great ideas. Thank you. All right. Uh, someone bring them the message. No, everyone says this. No one does anything. Craig is like, we don't have pistols. God damn it. Is that true? We don't have pistols. Oh, no, no, no. We don't have pistols. I'm, 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 I'm just going to have to defer to the group. Uh, does anyone else have an idea for a duel? Yeah. A real drawing contest. She says, a drawing contest. Excuse me. What? Who's, who's that down there? And he looks down and it's, it's this, uh, kind of shorter lady. Like, uh, what's her name? Her name is going to be Kiki. Kiki. Okay. Kiki's in the corner and she's kind of, is she kind of gothy? Like what's her, what's her deal? Kiki. Yeah. She has the emo, like the emo bang, Mm -hmm. you know, but then she has like her hair and like the rest of it's like in a ponytail, like a messy bun type. Yeah. Cause she, once again, she's just over it. Yeah. Yeah. As well. Everybody's over it. We're all over it. You there. You're saying, uh, he, he does that Aladdin thing where he jumps off the top and he like looks really luxurious and he says, Aha! I fucking love ropes. <laughs> what, is, is that a drawing contest you said? Yeah. How good are you at drawing? Wow. Well, Captain Patches uh, walks over to the, let me see that notebook. He snatches it from Kiki and he's like, oh, this is very good. <laughs> this is so just this draws anime characters. <laughs> yeah. This is very good. Is that Naruto? <laughs> That's really good, Kiki. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank All right. You. He closes the book. We're going to have a duel of drawings, and you're going to be my representative, Kiki. Are you in? So who's doing the drawing? You are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's at a drawing duel at 3 p.m. sharp. And uh, I guess I'll just let them know. <laughs> he walks over here. <laughs> he walks over to Hey, them. hey. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. Uh, the duel at 3 p.m. And it will be a drawing duel. Bring your best drawer. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, see you later. <laughs> Um, how does HBIC react to this? Okay, so he couldn't do it, so he gonna have someone else do it for him? Okay, cool, okay. So now what I have to do is pick my best jar, mm-hmm. find out who that is by having them all draw, because I just can't take their word. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So have them do a little sketches, some doodles, yeah. and uh, doodles. help them build upon that because once again I am the now the master of everything so HBIC has everyone do doodles to see what they what they do <laughs> <He's a> doodles. <laughs> doodles. doodles and uh, you know without her really realizing it she says oh like you're you're an AI so you're just going to copy everyone's styles and you're you're just now the best drawer so there you go we're going to fast forward 
to 3 p.m., you know, um, someone shoots off the last flare gun bullet. <laughs> All right. This There's is like, a, God, God damn it. This is a duel for the the ship that I haven't named yet. Uh, whoever wins gets to name the ship. Oh, yeah. Is it going to be Captain HBIC? Boo, boo. Or Captain Patches? Yay! <laughs> Everybody's like, we are indifferent about this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. It's recording this. It's going to be good for future Instagram or whatever. <laughs> like, Jerry, you're recording this, right? <laughs> yes, I'm always recording. <laughs> always. I'm always recording. All right. Let the duel begin. HBIC walks up to a table. And uh, so does Kiki. And um, the first one. Well, okay. Well, I don't, I don't, how do we, uh, Kiki? How do, how do we do this? Are you guys just gonna draw at the same time? What? What? what is there a time limit? <laughs> Kiki just looks at him like, oh, wow. the first one to draw a palm tree wins. <laughs> and then, <laughs> that's when they realize they don't have any paper. <laughs> and they're looking around like, well, how, are we, what are we, how are we gonna draw? We don't have anything to draw. And then napkins like, oh, it's napkins time to shine. <laughs> How does napkins? Uh, what what does he do? He takes his backpack. He's like, "You guys need paper? I, I got all the paper." <laughs> he starts throwing napkins <laughs> like it's money at a strip club. Just uh, oh, take all your paper you need. I, oh, I'm here for it. That napkins is so excited. Now it's time to shine. Wow, this has been waiting for this his whole life, man. I've been waiting for this for my whole life. <laughs> So napkins is, uh, you know, he 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 actually puts a bunch of napkins together and forms uh, kind of a stronger piece of paper, but not it's kind of a bad thing to draw. And so you, you guys try your best. Oh, do we have pencils? I was kind of thinking about that. <laughs> I was thinking, huh, maybe we just do like paper mache. With napkins? <laughs> Stare, I don't know. Stare says, we can't really do paper mache with napkins. Um, Maybe we'd... um. Get some of this blood I have leaking from me. <laughs> Captain Patches uh, says, all right, screw it. Let's just kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's going to have to be at the end of the day. <laughs> let's just go. Let's just, just do it. You coming, did you? You stupid motherfucker. <laughs> let's just, but, you are you, but are you ready? Are you ready, Captain Peaches? Three, two, one, go. He grabs a table and he tries to <laughs> smash HBIC. Um, so this is just really a duel, like a, just a fist fight between HBIC this and is Captain a whole Patches. Bar fight. <laughs> no one else is being is is involved in this. By the way, it's just these two. Uh, HBIC, what do you, what are you doing to like Captain Patches? Is kind of a frail dude. Like he doesn't work out. Uh, sponsored by exercise. He, if he exercised, he'd be probably be pretty good. Anyways. He doesn't work out. He's kind of scrawny. He's kind of like a weak kid. What What do you do to fight this guy? I mean, I just I talk a lot of shit because that's you like just hurt the, his feelings. That's the first way. <laughs> you just gotta intimidate him with your words yeah. at first. Yeah. What do you say to him? Like, oh, you you ain't ready for this. I stay ready. I ain't gotta get ready. I stay ready. Look at your little small ass. You ain't gonna do shit to me. You know, you talk, yeah, yeah. You talk shit like that. He like make him scared. Stop. Make him scared. Back him into a corner. Stop. <laughs> okay. That really hurts my feelings. Hurts I'm a pirate. I'm I'm strong. I'm a strong pirate. We're gonna see. Y your mama's so fat she makes the earth rotate. Oh, now you know it's on and popping. Now, hey, eh? we're not talking talk about, about my mama. mama. <laughs> we're not going there. Yeah, your mama's so dumb. The she she robbed herself. Yar, yar, yar. <laughs> Look, That's a dumb bitch. Look, you're not. These aren't supposed to be funny. Okay, you're supposed to make me mad. <laughs> He looks over eat. to Jerry. Jerry, this isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> She's too powerful. She's too powerful, too Jerry. Powerful. <laughs> you don't sit your ass down. Just give up now. Just submit. Uh, say who I am and fall in line. Or suffer these hands. What's um, it going to be? Jerry throws down his hat. No, not Jerry. Sorry, not Jerry. Uh, Captain Patches throws down his hat and he takes off his eye patch again. He's like, I just wanted to be a pirate, damn it. <laughs> I just wanted want to it. play pirates. Okay, is that so hard? This world, this world sucks. I hate this world. There's so much water. There's just water and nothing else. And I just wanted to pretend I was like a character in One Piece or something or or a pirate or something. And and you guys just had to go and screw it or screw it. You guys oh. all suck. You suck. <sighs> You tried. It did not work. Sorry. Are we sure we don't have any guns anywhere? <laughs> Knives? Everyone's shaking their hands. No, no, there's no, there's no guns. Uh -huh. 
No. What what am I supposed to do if I'm not a pirate captain? You just do like the rest of us and just go about your measly day. I mean, you could make ropes. Yeah, find a find a craft. Oh. Yeah. Hey, and he's he's struck by inspiration. He looks at the ship. I like ropes. He I actually loves really ropes. like ropes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, screw it. You're you're the I don't have to do the accent anymore. Here's your, here's the pirate app. Here's the patch. Give it to him. I'm gonna go climb ropes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, he's a rigger. And um, stairs. You know, he um, while this is all happening, he he built like a small set of stairs. <laughs> That's all he does all day. Stairs <laughs> for like a, a a set of stairs and like a like a landing for uh, HBIC to stand on. So he says, "Ma'am, please." Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So she. Walks up the stairs and uh, stairs says, the new captain, Captain HBIC, head bitch in charge. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Ooh, People kind of those who believe, yeah. For those who did believe, I appreciate you. Just know you will all have your turn to shine. Somebody interrupts. How are we getting off this island? Okay, so... What my floppy is telling me right now is we're going to have stairs keep building a whole bunch of stairs that's going to level off to a bigger island. How's that sound? What about food? We're starving. We haven't found any food yet. So no one want that boar head that <laughs> <laughs> cookie on cut up? That one boar head? That, that boar head? It, that's only going to feed like a couple of us. There's like 50 of y'all us. Didn't, y'all didn't want those electrolytes that Captain Patches done found for us? Y'all didn't want no no coconut? No coconut cream pies? I'm allergic to coconut. See, you ain't going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> People with allergies are not survivors. Y'all, are, y'all, y'all don't appreciate nothing. How are we going to find land? We've been sailing for, for weeks. Well, as I was trying to do, how I found this cool little AI is because I wandered off <laughs> and found some things. What was y'all doing? Um, Come on, take leadership, y'all. Stairs is like I was I was building these stairs. <laughs> <laughs> One other person interrupts and says, wait, you're connected to the AI, right? Like you? So why don't you just ask it like where land is? Where can we where can we find where can we find anything? Treasure, food. So I was trying to tell y'all that Stairs is gonna build this nice little platform for us to walk across the next island where all that's gonna be. But in the meantime, we're gonna eat some of this boar head and this coconut to nourish ourselves and then we're gonna get to the promised land. I mean that's a solid plan. I guess does I, that, does I, that work? I think that works. I think I was just trying yeah, to, you yeah. know. Yay! More heads! Right. Coconuts! Yeah, Woo. snout, yum. <laughs> um, and, you know, as everyone goes back to their to their ship, um, HBIC turns away, and one of her eyes, or no, both her eyes glow an ominous red, and she gives out an evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> we fucking did it. <laughs> Are we you don't sure we did it. I think we did it. I don't know what she's up to, but you know she's AI. She's connected to this AI. I don't think AI has the best intentions for people in the future. Um, <laughs> you know, everyone's gonna be copying and pasting everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone abandoned this this AI on an island and just wanted to get off. So I don't know, but. Uh, Captain Patches is now doing ropes. So <laughs> he's doing ropes. He's uh-huh. doing ropes, stairs, napkins. Yeah. Cookie. Yeah. I want to thank <clears throat> Supreme Andrine for coming on to this show. Thank you <laughs> so <laughs> much. Thank Thanks you, for Andrine. having me, guys. And do you have any like plugs for us? Anything that you want people to check out? You know, um, <sighs> Find a job, y'all. <laughs> Go <laughs> online and apply somewhere. Oh, okay. check that out. No, um, you know, um, Facebook will tell you some events. Go look on that. I don't, I don't know what else to tell y'all. Yeah, I, I have a job. What What job do you recommend for our listeners? Oh, for your listeners, man. Truthfully, if you can work for yourself, do it. If not. Do it. Work for someone until you can work for yourself until you find like something that is going to make you stand out. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I say find something that you don't have to complain about every day because that's why I didn't really have nothing really good to say because I haven't found that yet. Mm, okay. Okay. So yeah, um, that's what I say. 
And finally, what would you say is the best food, hands down? No argument. You're the HBIC, so what is the best food? Wow, that's a hard one. The best food, hands down? Oh, can I say... Say whatever you want. Mm, it's going to be like some type of Filipino dish. Okay. Like dinaguang, um, some type of like carreta stew or something like that with some rice. Okay. Yeah. What's the worst food? Oh, uh, the worst food ever that I've had. Probably tires. Ooh. That's not bad. food though. Like, oh no, you're right. I would say like some type of um, like organ, like <laughs> some liver. Liver? Or something like that. No liver for Andrew? Uh, it's official. It's my daddy's favorite. Livers are the worst food. Tell your dad that. They look Nobody. good, but they're not good. No. I'll tell him, but I don't know how he's going to react to it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Supreme Andreen. Nuckety, you got any plugs for us? No. All right. I'm just kidding. Uh, you, know the, you know the drill. Uh, follow me. <laughs> follow me at N-U-Q-A-D-Y on everything. If you want to uh, get some studio time or perhaps some beats or so, of some sort, you know, I can uh, I can accommodate you in that area. Uh, if you want to support the show, uh, if if you got some money and you want to like sponsor us, you know, what I mean, oh, snap. go ahead and shoot us an email. You mm-hmm. know, definitely not good podcast at Gmail dot com. Mm-hmm. Follow us on social media at DNG POD on everything. Uh, if you have a drawing that you want to send in, whatever, you know, send it to us. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, fuck you. Pay me. Thank you so much for that, Nuggety. I'm, I'm sure everyone's just saying thank you also. Very useful. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I just want to thank you for listening to. Um, we really appreciate all the listeners. We're at like 120 or something on our Instagram right now. So thank you everyone who's uh, following us and supporting us and laughing with us. We love you guys. On this terrible, terrible podcast. <laughs> this terrible journey. All right. I'm going to sleep now. Goodbye. Good night. Love you. Definitely not good.